Can I leave this on all night? It's possible. It would have been dead by now. Looks a little foggy. Probably because it's a little cold. Hey, good morning, guys. I left my camera in my truck overnight, hence the little bit of fog on the lens. I am about to do some more firewood for the basement. As previously mentioned last time on the vlog, I uh, mentioned it last night. I was going to have to do firewood today. Loaded up and trucking. I don't know if you can see the wood peeking over the top of the uh, cover back there, but we're loaded up and we're bringing it to the basement. Why is the door locked? That's obnoxious. Well, I uh, cleaned out all the wood, brought it inside, and um, also there's a couple trash bags down here uh, that need to go up to the dumpster. So I'm taking them around to go to the dumpster, and while I'm doing that, I figured I might as well clean out the rest of the things in my bed, the bed of my truck. Um, haven't been, haven't cleaned it out since last summer, so it's quite a mess back there. Also, I still got my skis and Calvin skis in there. I was hoping to get out one more time this year, um, do some spring skiing, and maybe do a pond skim somewhere, but I just don't think that's gonna happen. Um, we're too busy, then we leave for vacation, and uh, you know, by the time you get to May, I really don't think um, many mountains are gonna be open, so. I don't think we're gonna be skiing anymore this year, so I'll put the skis away. I'll let the dream die of doing a pond skim for this year. But next year, next year we'll do a pond skim for sure. I'll think about it ahead of time. Cause this year, I didn't think about a pond skim until uh, I they were all already happening. It was like, you know, I heard about all these pond skims going on. Over again. I heard about all the pond skims going on. I think it was Easter. Uh, weekend was when most of them were happening um, and I heard about them and I was like oh that sounds like so much fun I wish I could do a pond skim um, and I never did so trash trash and skis skis and trash and cans of paint those are paint so you can paint like a field like a baseball field or a soccer field or a football field primarily a baseball field um, don't ask why I have them let's not get into that uh, yeah so we're cleaning this thing out uh, we had to get rid of these skis get rid of that sled that sled I found in a parking lot um, uh, so I had to get rid of it uh, yeah let's get rid of these skis because I can't really get to all the trash so I gotta get rid of these skis Got the ski poles. Okay, now just gonna take care of the rest of this garbage. Well, just like last year, I'm um, doing a little bit of spring cleaning out of my truck. So, since I was doing the bed, I figured I'd do the rest of it. I don't know if you remember the video. It's called uh, The Day I Cleaned My Truck or something like that. Guys, something. Is, today is the day. The day I finally clean out my truck. Um, so this here is all the stuff I'm removing from my truck this time. Not that much stuff. Um, I already got rid of all the trash. There was an entire trash bag full of trash in my truck. But now it's uh, cleaned out. Um, as you can see, there's nothing... No rubble rolling around. Uh, I got some movies still, but only three of them. Figured I didn't need all of them. I got my Philmont blanket right here. See, I like it uh, pressed against the back window like that, because then you can see that um, logo. It looks kind of cool, I think. It kind of looks like a sticker. Just got that there. And then also, behind the seat here, 
Uh, you can't quite see it, and I don't feel like putting the seat down. I also got um, uh, two cans of ravioli that I thought would have expired by now because I've had them in this truck for, I don't know, like two years now. Uh, but they don't expire to, until, actually the sell-by is uh, to March 2019, so they got about another year before they're bad, so I figured I'd keep those in there. And uh, I don't know if I already said, but I got a mess kit, and then I got a couple uh, tin mugs um, in there too, just for the heck of it. And a hammock! I got a hammock back there. So I figured I'd keep that stuff in there, because that's pretty useful stuff. But yeah, uh, the thing could definitely use a vacuuming, but... Um, I'm not going that crazy with it. I just wanted to get all the rubble out. I'll show you the front seat too <sighs> No more rubble and this this is there's still some trash uh, in this uh, thing here, but I got most of it out um, Still got rock a raccoon sitting here uh, Chilling he'll probably chill there for a while um, But yeah, so this is all the stuff that's got to go inside a few shirts some gloves some Beyblades some uh, this this stuff here is uh, from last night. That's not like it's been sitting in there forever. I just didn't bring it in last night after scouts. Uh, I got a fat stack of DVDs I'm bringing inside because I don't need those anymore. And uh, this uh, really cool Halloween mask that the mouth opens on. Ah. Comment down below if you know what I'm watching. So, today, I believe we are at... Uh, what's the date today? Today's the 12th. We're at eight days till vacation. That's right, Gracie. Eight days till I leave you behind and I may never come back. I'm just kidding. I will have to come back, unfortunately. I don't want to come back, but I'll have to. Over these next eight days, things are gonna start ramping up and getting a little bit more crazy. Every day, it's, things are gonna get a little bit more crazy. You gotta get this done before we go. You gotta get this done before we go. Just keeps amping up just a little bit at a time, okay? But, I am not gonna get swept up in the craziness because I have a plan. Today, I'm gonna do all of my laundry. It is only 9.30 this morning. Some days I don't even get out of bed till now, but guess what, I'm already up and I'm active. I did a load of firewood, I brought firewood to the basement, and I cleaned out my truck. I'm just remembering now I was supposed to start the stove, but I'll get to that at some point today. Some point within the next hour, I'll get to that. Um, I'm gonna get all my laundry done today, which is a lot. I have a lot of laundry, let me show you. There it is, the mountain of laundry. Uh, that is basically every single piece of clothing I own except for what I'm wearing, um, because it was either all dirty or then I have like like shorts from last summer that I haven't worn. Um, I just figured I'd wash them all again so they're fresh and clean. Because they've been sitting in the closet for, you know, months. So I figured I'd wash all my shorts too just so they're fresh and clean for the trip. Um, so that's some of it as well. So I'm going to load it into the machine now and get it going. Um, but you don't want to watch that, so I'll just, I'll show you the pile of laundry when it's folded and clean. I'm also, as it comes out and as it's clean, I'm going to sort it into what's going on vacation, what's being put away because it's winter clothing, and what is going to be uh, just put away in my dresser uh, because it's summer clothing, but I'm not bringing it on vacation. I'm going to sort it into three categories, so that's what I'm up to. All right, I've got the stove going. I've got my laundry running. And now I'm watching Westworld. I started watching this. I watched episode one last night. Now I'm watching uh, episode two as we speak. I really liked episode one. Um, everybody says how good Westworld is, so hopefully it keeps up uh, its, you know, neatness and coolness as the episodes go on. That stupid bird is back on my truck. Anyway, I'm doing my laundry. Um, and load two is almost done. Uh, it's about to come out of the dryer. Any minute now. Yeah, a couple more minutes probably. And um, yeah, I'm watching uh, The Office. I had to switch from Westworld because uh, Westworld's too addicting. I can't focus on anything else when it's on. Did I start this? Yeah, I did. It's going? Yeah, okay, I was just making sure. For a second I thought the dryer wasn't going. It's a whole thing. Anyway, check out the shirt. Boom. Got the laundry situation sorted out a little bit. Um, 
This is a stack of shirts I'm bringing. I think there's uh, eight shirts there. That's a stack of shorts I'm bringing. There's uh, six pairs of shorts there. Um, that's underwear. That's a pair of pants I plan on wearing today. That's my socks. I still haven't matched up because there's another load of laundry in the dryer. This is clothes that are going back upstairs. And those are my sheets uh, I'm going to put back on my bed because I mentioned I was washing them. This is a luggage bag container unit. Uh, I'm going to pack my clothes in. Guys, what do you think about this shirt? Ice cream cone. It says stay cool. Um, I got this shirt a little while ago. Um, my mom got it for me. Uh, because I said I was just going to cut the sleeves off all my shirts, which uh, is what I've been doing, right? In the summertime, I like to cut the sleeves off shirts. I don't like to wear tank tops. And this is a shirt you can see here. It's it's made and sewn to look be like a sleeveless shirt, but it's it's sewn that way. And it's a little uncomfortable with this seam here. And it just doesn't look the same as when you cut it off yourselves. But there is something so terrible about this shirt that it just might be perfect. Um, comment down below if I should um, wear this to Playlist Live. Maybe I will. Uh, there's something terribly perfect about it. I don't know. I just can't put my finger on it. it says it's 52 degrees outside. Whew. I'm not entirely sure how accurate that is, but I'm willing to bet it's pretty close to accurate. I just took a shower. Um, I'm getting ready to go to work. Let's feel this air, shall we? <sighs> Feels like it could be 52. Could be. I'm not sure though. Doesn't feel bad. Grease, if you want to be outside, you can put your collar on. Come here. Grace is going to wear an electric collar because otherwise she runs away because she's a jerk. Um, but yeah, alright, so I guess I'm just going to get ready and head to work so we'll see you a little later. Too late. This is my own. I want to see. Calvin had to get his specialty you... shorts. I hate you so much, you know that? So, let's Calvin see him. Calvin had to get his specialty hat. You mean, uh, I bought myself a hat at the store. Uh, these, Calvin had no money, so he begged and cried until Mom did, bought them for I him. I paid for them. Yeah, right. I did. How is that possible? You don't have any money. Yeah. Well, I paid, I paid you, got, you don't get a single dime. I paid $40. Are those elastic waistband? Yeah. And they have uh, belt loops. You stop that right now. No. no, I saw the post that uh, it, it was a kid holding up an airsoft gun and uh, it said don't come to school tomorrow but then in big black letters right above it it said this is 100% a joke. Yeah, but you can't joke like that anymore. Yeah, obviously. I did the right thing, but I'm just saying. Did you have to have another lockdown? God, Calvin hates dogs. Six, it wasn't a lot. There was six Good sticker oh, too. Feel them. They feel nice. Well, they had the whole Wakefield. Feel kind of oily. I don't get it. Department there all day. The Wolfboro Police. Mostly. The Durham Police. They look like ch children's shorts with a little bear on them. I'm getting so mad right now. I'm up three games in nine ball right now. Beat Calvin three times in a row. Let's try and keep this hot streak going. Watch me hit the two from here. Two and nothing but the two. It's pretty close. That's just close. 